We're still locked in. We still can't go nowhere. You're getting another gear of you folks. Roll that intro. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know, I know, it's not angling content, it's a gear review. You're just going to have to bear with me. We're under lockdown, we can't go fishing. <sighs> yes, it tests my patience too. What can you do? Let's talk on hooking mats. Now, for years, I made do with one of these. It was a beanbag filled unhooking mat. You could uh, roll it up nice and small, took up no real room, was as light as a feather, and was good for what I wanted it to do. Believe it or not, that same unhooking mat I had for nearly 10 years. It smells quite a bit. And I knew its time had finished when I took a power hose to it, and when I blasted it with the power hose, there was white ball of styrene beads everywhere. It had eventually rotted, so it needed to be replaced. For a long time I looked at different unhooking mats thinking, should I just get another unhooking mat or should I get something a little bit better? Now, this is where I went actually and spent a bit of money. I went and managed to pick up, it's the Avid XL safeguard cradle this one now i picked this up in october 2017 i think at the time it was 110 pounds which i know is pricey for an unhooking mat the length of it is 125 centimeters the width of it is just under a meter, I think it's 80 or 85 centimeters. And you can move the legs so that it's either, you know, it's nearly 50 centimeters off the ground. I like the legs because you could level it out so it was all nice and flat. When it was weight, when you weighed it, when you went to pick it up, it was just over five kilos. So for what I wanted it to do, it was quite good. It comes with it, it came with its own like uh, cover thing. But Which I've never used and it came with its own carry bag which again I've not really used I'll be honest with you I took it out of the carry bag and for a little while I was using the bag and thinking it's just a pain in the tits putting it in the bag and taking it out the bag and so eventually the bag got put to the back of the van and it's just been folded up what I like about the cradle is that once the fish is in the cradle, that's it, it's not going anywhere. It can flip and roll and twist and do, what it, do whatever it wants, it's not going to go anywhere. The material that's used is very, very, very padded, very, very soft, but it doesn't uh, hold water. And at the, at the two sides of the unhooking mat, there's two mesh panels, so any water that goes into it drains away. But basically, in a nutshell, the fish can't do any damage to itself. It can kick out and roll around and you're not gonna it's not gonna do any harm. I like the fact that it's a little bit higher off the ground, so when you try to unhook it, you're not kinda of as hunched over it, over the fish. Now okay, it weighs a little bit more. I mean five just over five kilos is a lot more than what the, the beanbag ones weigh. The beanbag ones weigh I think weigh just over a kilo. So it's a little bit heavier, and it's a little bit more of a thing to carry, but bear with me, it is quite good, and it is worth the money. I went for a cradle, not just because I could use it for other species, obviously you can, it's designed for the carp guys, the carp guys use it for obviously carp, and the catfish guys use it for cats, so it's, you know, it does the job for me for pike fishing. Now I understand that 100, over £100 for an unhooking mat is, well, it's expensive. It takes the mickey. It, some, well, if you think about it, if you're an angler on a budget, then this might not be for you. Uh, and I'll be honest, 
you know, I had to kind of do a bit of thinking as to can I justify spending over a hundred quid on a on a unhook and cradle. But again, I've used it since October two thousand and seventeen, so it's now you know twenty twenty. Even though we can't go outside and we can't fish because we're all locked down. But what I'm saying is, the from twenty seventeen to now, it's had all sorts of fish in it. It's been carried and lugged and dragged everywhere, you know. The one disadvantage that it has, the first generation one has, is the mud feet. They're like this big, they're not that big. The newer mud feet are more like a, they're almost like a beer mat size, they're very very thick. The one thing that you have to do with the, the mud feet on the, the old one that I have, is take an, take an 8mm or a 9mm drill bit and drill holes through them so you can put a screw into the wooden jetty to stop it blowing away because unfortunately in tough winds it does just blow away there's no two ways about it it the wind will catch it and away it goes and at 110 to 100 pounds it's a bit much to lose you know it's a little bit much to lose hook resistance eh? Uh, touching wood, I've not had any hooks actually go through it. You know, I've, I've had pike with the, the trebles kind of on the outside of their mouth and they've not twisted in such a way that the hooks, the trebles have penetrated it. Uh, so I don't actually know if it's if it's going to be good that way. I don't actually intend sticking hooks in it and testing it that way. I'm quite happy to have it the way it is. There's not much else I can say really. You know, Avid Avid are a pretty good make, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not, you know, uh, sponsored by Avid. You know, I don't have any sort of affiliation with them. I actually had to, I had to pay for that with my own money. I picked it up in Fishing Tackle and Bait and Anaskillen. Again, didn't get a give to me, I had to buy it. So, it is what it is. Now, would I recommend it to other people? Yes, I would recommend it. It's well worth the money. The, how, the, the, the the bag, the carry bag that it goes in, it could be made a little bit uh, bigger so it's easier to get the stuff in and out of. The bag that comes with mine is like trying to put a condom on, it's very very tight so perhaps a little bit room, a little bit more room in the bag would have made it easier putting it in and putting it out. Therefore you don't just get annoyed with it like me and throw the bag away. because. It was just a pain in the arse putting it on, you know, it was just... So it now sits in my van, or it used to sit in my van, it's now out of the van. But it would sit in the van, kind of opened up. Again, uh, when it dries, if there's no rain or anything, it dries pretty quick, so it's... And it doesn't retain smell, which is nice. So there's no real smell of a wet unhooking mat. Which is awesome, because no one needs a smell of a wet unhooking mat. I'll put a link in the description to Avid's website with all the details on the unhook and cradle. Now, as I stated, you're not going to get the one that I got, but I bought in 2017 was their first generation version of it. You're going to get the newer model. The price is still the same. What I can see that's different is the material's a bit thicker. It's still the same sort of material. It still sheds the water and the mud feet are bigger and square as opposed to circular. I don't think that makes a pile of difference, but that's up to you because it's you that's going to be looking for one to buy one, not me, I already have one. I want to say thank you to everyone that's watching the videos, even though we're on lockdown and we can't go fishing. I am as bored as you guys, trust me. All I want to do is go fishing. Believe it or not, I'm even starting to miss going to work. <laughs>